Rio Pinar Country Club Estates in East Orange County experienced devastated flooding from Hurricane Ian. Our team coverage continues tonight with West Choose Amanda Dukes. Amanda, how many homes were impacted there? Well, I did a count as we drove through the neighborhood today. Well over 30 homes have piles like that one in their front yard. Discarded furniture, drywall, flooring, all of it ruined by flooding. There are dozens and dozens of families here that have been forced out of their homes and lost many of their belongings. A heartbreaking sight on Pinar Drive, where piles of flood damaged furniture, flooring, and drywall sits in front of home after home. A creek behind the houses connects to the Little Econ River, and it rushed over its banks at the height of Hurricane Ian. Once it hit our front porch area, it was within 20 minutes, it was all through our house from that side and that side. This is video a neighbor recorded of Alyssa and Tim Peoples and their two young kids being rescued early last Thursday morning. In the middle of the storm, um, Orange County actually came out on boats and came door to door and started getting people out. Like so many in this neighborhood, the Peoples are at a loss trying to decide what to salvage and what needs to be tossed. We both have had a lot of up and downs and we're like, we're still like in the shock phase of it, but you know, God is good and we'll just continue to make sure that, you know, all of our neighbors are taken care of and our family. One neighbor the peoples were very worried about is Cheryl Boylan. She uses a walker and is on oxygen. My husband woke me up, said the neighbors called, said the water's coming, the water's coming. I'm like, what are you talking about? And Kevin's like, get on the bed because I don't know how deep it is. Boylan says they called 911, but it took a few hours for rescuers to arrive. Most of their flooring, baseboards, and even drywall will have to be torn out. They say they'll have to live in a hotel for a few months and worry about the expense, but they are also grateful to be okay. We thought we were going to float away. We had no idea. Now, I asked the Peoples and the Boylans if they had flood insurance, and both families do, but they say the flood insurance doesn't cover the content of their home, just the actual damage to the home. I will say this is a lovely neighborhood. We heard so many stories of neighbors helping neighbors, and they say that's helping them with their grief over all of their losses. Live in Orange County, Amanda Dukes, West 2 News.